Layer clipping is something that's really great, and rather than try to explain it, I think it's kind of complicated to get your head around it until you actually see it and understand it. But once you see it, I think you'll intuitively grasp it a lot easier. So I'm just going to show you. And I'm going to bring in an image, go to File, Import, and just bring in a, this painting by Manet. And I'm going to fill up the whole page with the image so that it's completely covered. And then I'm going to rasterize this layer. So right click and rasterize. Now you see that I have one layer below this and that's how I want this to be, if I want this to work. So this layer, the Manet layer, it's rasterized and I'm going to either click this clip it layer below button or I'm going to right click and click clip it layer below. But that's what we want. And that'll create this kind of pink mark next to it. And it also, you notice it it made the image disappear. So this is means the layer is clipped and it's going to basically respond to the layer below it. And if we don't have anything on this layer, it's not going to be visible. But as soon as we take a pen and uh, just put some lines down, you'll notice that the image starts appearing. So we can make it all appear if we want. And we can also use other tools to make it appear. We could use spray, we could use all kinds of things. So it's pretty amazing what it can do. And you can even use like text, for example, although text will create a new layer. So if you want to actually see it, you're going to need to move the text layer uh, below. And let's see, I'm going to drag it below because it only operates on the layer below. But you notice as soon as I did that, it made this black. But at least now we can, uh, if I turn this off, I can take this text layer and I can even drag it around and it'll respond to wherever it's located on the page, which is pretty incredible. And if I like it there, for example, and then I'm done, I can, uh, and I want this layer too, I could just combine these once I'm done and combine selected layers. And now that they're one layer again, that's the layer that's being clipped so that it'll all become included. So that's pretty amazing. You can also, for example, if I delete these two layers and let's say I just add a text layer and I don't like this font. I'm going to change to something a little, a little better. I think let's change to, to something with some thickness to it. That'll do, I guess. All right. So if I have this layer and I have it here, and I could, for example, use my materials as well. If I have, uh, let's say I use this material and I drag it in and I want to make the text have this, um, this material as my, uh, as my texture, I guess you would call it. And I'm just going to play with it a little. So to make that happen, I need to move this above the text and then I just need to Again, like before, um, we can rasterize it and then clip it layer below. Let's see if we need to rasterize it, actually. I think we do. Oh, I guess we don't. So you don't need to rasterize it. And then you can even manipulate it after it's set. And you could also go to the text layer and manipulate that and move it around. So it's pretty versatile what it can accomplish. Cl layer clipping is a very powerful tool, and it lets you do all kinds of crazy things. So definitely use it.